Uh, there's a part of me, Congressman, I'm glad he revealed this. There's a part of me that's concerned. You're right, if he goes to China or Russia, that would, that would concern me. Um, you wrote the Patriot Act. Is what we've heard about the prison program, is that, is that within the law? It clearly is not within the law. One of the most difficult things in getting the Patriot Act passed was the business record section of the law, which is called Section 215. And in order to get the act passed, it was limited. It was limited only to getting the business records of a foreigner, not an American, who is the target of an authorized terrorism investigation. It did not law the dragnet style uh, that we have seen in the prison program and the NSA uh, uh, revelations that have occurred to date. Uh, former House Intelligence Committee Chair Pete Huckstra of Michigan uh, actually said that what the Obama administration is doing is the Bush administration on steroids. This is clearly beyond the law as I have outlined it, and it's unfortunate that the Justice Department and the FISA court did not follow the law and Justice's petition to the court and the court approving it. You know, it's very interesting. There's a, a liberal website out there, and they said that I've changed my opinion. Now, I supported the Patriot Act. I support data mining. I support surveillance, and I support FISA courts. But I don't support what the administration did. Am, am I consistent with, with what the law is? You absolutely are consistent, and I agree with every one of the points that you've made, Sean. Uh, we have to balance security with the respect for civil liberties, which has made our country different than any other country in the world. I think I did that when I drafted the Patriot Act. Now, obviously, we're going to have to have some changes in Section 215 and maybe in the law that authorizes the FISA court to do what it has done. Uh, I don't know exactly what those uh, amendments need to be, uh, but obviously this program has got to be reined in. You know, we should look at the business records of people who are targets of uh, investigations and who are foreigners, uh, but we don't need to grab everybody's phone calls, and they can even go to grabbing the phone calls of journalists or members of Congress. Uh, who are protected in one way or the other by the Constitution so that the administration, whoever it may be, can see who we are in contact with and try to figure out how we are building a case to do what a journalist or a member of Congress wants to do. There are no checks and balances here. We've got to restore them. You know, Congressman, if I broke the law or anybody watching this program breaks the law, um, there's going to be consequences, at least so I've been told. Um, here you're saying they broke not only the spirit, but the letter of the law that you wrote. I don't hear anybody talking about any consequences, do you? The problem you got with the FISA court is if they go too far, there is no way that somebody who is hurt by their orders can go to a public court to be able to challenge it. Now, if you and I were to receive a subpoena or to receive a search warrant for whatever reason, we can go to court and try to get that quashed because we know what they're asking for and we can make a determination of whether they've gone too far or whether it's not relevant. But nobody knows what the FISA court uh, has ordered. And my concern is, is that it's kind of like uh, saying that the police have to stop everybody to try to find the one drunken driver on the road. Uh, people should only be accused when there's probable cause, and I thought that the Patriot Act had been drafted in a narrow way so that we would go after foreigners who were targets, but evidently the Justice Department and the FISA Court have decided to go beyond it. You know what, Congressman, this has been very uh, enlightening, edifying, and we appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Anytime.